Stay tuned. You know. Because I'm going to be having a baby very soon. And I really hope that I can take you on this journey with me. I, I lost the baby and I don't know exactly where I put it. It, it has to be around here somewhere. Okay, so some of you guys are probably wondering. No, I am not pregnant. What the hell is wrong with you? Hello everyone, and today we are talking about something honestly insane. One of the crazier things I've heard in terms of promoting your Patreon. Now this is a YouTuber I have never heard of before. Her name is Carolyn Kodsnar, and she faked a pregnancy to promote her Patreon. And today we're going to be going over a Tozy's video on this to sort of break it down. Caroline Konstner, who's apparently gained a large audience from sketch comedies and parody music with some vlogs sprinkled into the mix, where humor seems to be kind of her documenting herself having an existential crisis. Going through her old content was quite the trip as I hadn't heard of her until this incident. And this incident, in my opinion, was a tone deaf move as it left me with a reaction of, wow, that's a weird thing to do. I'm ovulating. And now, just as a fair warning, she makes this look absolutely legitimate, like a legitimate pregnancy, you know, she's going through the stages, like how she's feeling mentally and emotionally when she's not ready to have a baby. And I had like a plug of blood come out and I was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant. <laughs> And it had been a year since she had posted last. If I disappeared for a year and then said I had this sort of announcement, no one would question it. And that's exactly what her audience had done at the time. At least a good chunk of it. Like everyone's like committing to a bit. That's what life feels like. I'm committing to the bit of having a relationship with this woman who I don't really like. I'm committing to the bit of having this job that I don't really like. I'm committing to the bit of living in a democracy. I'm committing to this bit. I feel like it's okay to not know what I'm doing in life because I'm young. I'm hot. I'm funny. I'll figure it out. Life will go on and I will by default be something if not dead. Okay, she's pregnant, except she's not. So how much will she try to sell it or commit to this bit? I think that's where a lot of the long-term fans were sort of skeptical of whether this was real or not. Because she did say committing to the bit, but as like someone like me or you who have never seen them before, you only see this video and you think, well, yeah, they're pregnant and they're going through this sort of crisis in their life. But, uh, not really. Not really. I'm good, guys. I'm actually so good. I want to have a kid. I just don't think I can have a f***ing kid right now. And I really want a kid. I do want a f***ing kid. And I'm not being stupid. I'm not being like, oh, well, you're young. You don't really know what it's like. You have so much life to live. You! I'm having a baby. Like, I'm having the baby. It's not like I'm not, it's not like I'm getting rid of it. It's like, I'm having the baby. I'm gonna have a baby. Me, 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 me. Remember how I had, like, going on with my uterus when I was 16? Like, I had the, I had surgeries just to get stuff removed. So, like, my fertility's always been kind of weird. I'm pregnant, and if there's any kind of, like, surgical intervention, I could really f*** up my fertility. Like, I could, I might not be able to have a kid again. And then the other thing is, is that if I have this kid... The only aspect that seems satirical is the video she's playing over talking. But she's talking about something that could be a legitimate issue of pregnancy or not getting pregnant. So I'm... The idea of this being a bit and a joke is not obvious to a normal functioning brained person at all. It's very likely that I won't be able to have another one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, this is heavy and something I'm pretty sure a lot of women can relate to as there's millions of women in America who get pregnant every year and the overall fertility, it's not going in the best direction right now. Without knowing it's a bit, it's hard to not sympathize with her here. It's a well put together video, seemingly showing a genuine emotion and extremely relatable for many.
Hello, one and all. I'm currently in my second trimester. And let me tell you something. Being pregnant is exactly what they say it is. Uh, I just, I personally find this incredibly frustrating. Because if this is supposed to be a joke or a bit, then where is the funny? Where is the punchline? What is she really trying to achieve with it, is my question. It's, it's pretty awful. It's very overwhelming to be 20 and pregnant, because I'm around other 20 year olds that are like, I don't even know what I'm like doing right now. Like, I don't even know who I am or what I want in life. And I'm just like, that sounds tough. Me personally, I'm about to throw out 18 years of my life doing the most selfish thing one could possibly do. Stay tuned, you know. because I'm gonna be having a baby very soon. I slapped this video together just to let you all know where I've been for the past few months and where I'm gonna be in the coming months. And I really hope that I can take you on this journey with me. Thank you guys for staying here with me and being here with me and hopefully supporting me in the future. So stay tuned, guys. She creates this video with the idea of it being satirical, a joke, haha, <laughs> I'm fake pregnant. Also subscribe to my Patreon to see this fake pregnancy happen. But it's not till the second video that there's really an inkling to the average person this could be some kind of joke or anything. Even this, this last bit right here, it does not come off as a joke. It just seems like, hey, yeah, this is my life now. Follow me if you want. <laughs> like, what? So her audience were then waiting for a future update, and someone apparently found this on one of her secondary channels where they ordered a fake pregnancy belly off Timu. So I guess a very small portion of her audience were then bracing themselves for something that was going on, but most had no idea. And then she dropped this video titled, I Lost the Baby. Literally the worst nightmare for anyone trying to have a kid. Okay, guys, I lost the baby, and I don't know exactly where I put it. It it has to be around here somewhere. Okay, so some of you guys are probably wondering. No, I am not pregnant. And I'm sure some of you are shocked. I'm sure some of you are not surprised at all. I'm sure some of you don't care. But some of you might be asking. That is just super weird, but I guess we'll just let her justify why she pretended to be pregnant. When you're a content creator, there's really, I'm going to say, no justification at all because she did it to promote There's this Patreon. She's going to she's going to say it later, but she did it to promote her Patreon under false pretenses. It is, in fact, a lie. If you say you are pregnant without explicitly saying it is a joke and you're not pregnant, then it's a lie, which means you scam people. If they only subscribe under the intent of following your journey and to help you as a mother. Um, she's gonna try to justify this in a completely different way, but my opinion is it's not really justifiable. The line between entertainment and reality is very blurred. Your audience will become very attached to an abstraction of yourself. And the odd thing is that this connection can become very personally meaningful to the viewers while it's not being personally meaningful to the creator itself. The experience of having a parasocial relationship with your audience can be very uncomfortable. I'll give you an example. When I was 15 and I first started making content, I had a lot of people threaten to me every day. And if you could imagine, this was not fun. Oh, wait, <laughs> whoa now, okay. Uh, <laughs> where are we going here? Yeah, being a content creator, it does have some massive downsides, like horrifically creepy messages, threats, doxxed, being sued. It happens, but I can only name like two influencers who would fake a pregnancy for views, and she's one of them. If you're saying, um, example, my house burnt down, please donate to my Patreon to help cover the cost of the damages. And the house never burnt down? Same thing. Same thing if you ask me. I mean, are they really parasocial for wanting you to not have a burnt down house? Is that really a bad thing or is it just people being normal and wanting you as a person to have a good life? Because why not? 
problem with this beyond the obvious is that there's no meaningful way to respond to this interaction. The offender has anonymity and in some way so do I. So I'm not treating them like a real person. They're not treating me like a real person. You're not real and I'm not real and none of this is real. I will present myself on the internet because I want to desperately be seen and to connect to other people. And no, nope, a lot of you will engage on the internet because you want to be seen. <sighs> so you faked being pregnant and added a whole bunch of complications to make this like fake connection with people to then betray them to be seen on the internet. I lied about being pregnant as a joke. And the joke is not that Pregnancy under strenuous circumstances is funny. The joke is not that the audience was gullible enough to believe that I was pregnant. The joke is you connected to something that wasn't real. And I have become something that isn't real. We all come here to find this connection. She needs to take a little bit more time away from the internet because obviously she's got some severe disconnect of what's real and what's not. Because as a content creator, your audience are full of real people. There's going to be some strange ones out there, but I'd say a good 90, 99% normal average people just watch your content because they enjoy it, want you to have a good life because they think you're a decent person, whatever it is. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm completely losing it. Like, this logic makes no sense. Like, sure, we connect to fake things all the time. We watch movies. We cry. When it's sad, you know, some of us, because we connect to something that isn't real. And when it comes to YouTube, depending on the type of content you do, your life could be your content. And she was really imitating like vlog style content because the thing about YouTube, it's not supposed to be corporate. It's not supposed to be all fake. It's supposed to be, you know, like when it first started, it was a guy in front of a camera, you know, yelling at games, talking about random things. It was them as a person. And people are still wanting that on YouTube. Action over and over again. And we don't really find it until now when you subscribe to my Patreon. What? You fake being pregnant to promote your Patreon? What? <laughs> Joke was, you connected to something that was not real. This just gave me a flashback to the I'm 14 and deep memes. Duh. <laughs> if you make a genuine video claiming to be pregnant, where you candidly break down multiple times throughout this video, people are going to feel empathy for you. I wouldn't really jump to the parasocial part there, maybe for the 0.1%, but those are the ones who are going to go to your Patreon and pay you money to get access access to these exclusive videos. This entire stunt has been an advertisement for my Patreon. I'm also announcing that I'm coming back to YouTube. Listen, I wanted to come back to YouTube and explain to everyone why I had been gone and what had happened to me in that time that made me want to come back. But some of you in my audience are pretty weird and I don't blame any of you. You know, you can't help being weird, but I didn't think that it would be healthy for me to expose myself like that to all of you. And that's why I decided to keep a lot of my more sensitive information behind a paywall, where I would hope some of the audience would be more intentional with how they interact with me because now- If that was the intention, then why did you lie? You blew it! The weirdos are the ones who pay for it. What are you talking about? This is like filtering out all the weirdos and putting them in one spot and they have exclusive access to you. The casual viewers are not the weirdos. They're not gonna pay for some story they could have received for free on YouTube. Now you have like 455 weirdos giving you $925 a month combined. Again, what problem is she trying to solve here? And also that's not even the amount of a normal video for a channel her size. She could have just made more videos and not made two weird videos to have a paid group of weirdos. Take a shot every time I said weirdo there. Apparently I need a thesaurus. This whole thing, at the very least, is incredibly weird and strange. At worst, it, it comes off like a scam because you're lying under false pretenses, you know. Even what she said is she wanted to make a Patreon paywall. The sensitive topics or content of hers, if you subscribe, then is not about this pregnancy. It's about her saying, haha, you believed me, how could you? And when I see things like this, I think that they are out of their mind. 
and they have no idea what YouTube is and should be. And if you want to have, you know, more exclusive content for your other viewers who are willing to pay for it, then go for it, but why? Why are you faking a pregnancy and a miscarriage? It's just lying to your audience in order to get more Patreon subscribers. I hope you can get a refund if you paid for it and that's what you wanted, because it just kind of seems scummy. Overall, um, don't lie to your audience. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. This one, really... <laughs> I got a little heated with this one, to be honest. But please let me know what you think. And, as always, I'd like to thank my channel members. You guys are the real ones, really. If you have any video suggestions, please join the Discord. If that's something you'd like to do. And I will see you all next time. Bye!